eat pudding and live longer. That is the amazing claim made by Brian Johnson. And I've got a longevity expert with me today, Dr. Nicola Conlon, and we're gonna break down what is in his famous nutty pudding and see how it can possibly make you live longer. So cinnamon has been found to actually be really good at regulating your blood sugar. We know that as we get older, people start to have problems with regulation of blood sugar, their insulin, um, and it can cause quite a few metabolic problems as we get older. So cinnamon is a good one to help regulate blood sugar. Chia seeds. To my knowledge, I may never have eaten a chia seed before, but today's the day. Wow, really? Okay, I love <laughs> chia seeds. So chia seeds are good for two things. They've got high levels of omega-3 in them, which is good for anti-inflammatory purposes, but also they're a good source of fiber, and fiber is good for our gut microbiome, which can become dysregulated with age. Flax, Flax seeds. seeds. Flax seed, again, is a good source of omega-3, and it's also a good source of fiber. Pea protein. So this is obviously a protein source that is coming from a plant, um, but it's still protein. And again, we know that protein is beneficial, especially increasing protein levels as we get older, to make sure that we've got a, enough lean body mass, which is positively associated with longevity. And that's 80 grams of protein per 100 grams. Really dense. Jesus. <laughs> we can have that in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Layla reacts. Jesus. <laughs> me. <laughs> Here's a surprising one, chocolate. Yeah, so when you are having dark chocolate, it's got a much higher percentage of the cocoa, which contains cacao, um, which is basically the raw ingredient where the cocoa is derived from, and that has a high level of antioxidants, which has a huge amount of benefit across the whole body in terms of getting rid of any damage, preventing damage, and reducing inflammation. Now we've got two types of nuts, walnuts and macadamia. So nuts, again, are a good source of the beneficial fats, the omega-3s, which are good for brain health. I always remember that walnuts are particularly good for brain health, and I think they look like little brains <laughs> um, as well. Um, but yeah, very good for, uh, for reducing inflammation, getting your fat levels right, and for brain health. I actually tell my kids these are pigeon brains. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one's interesting because the recipe requires only half of one of these Brazil nuts. What's in these? So the magic ingredient in Brazil nuts is something called selenium. And selenium is known to be a potent antioxidant. And it's also involved in protecting our DNA from damage and also helping to repair DNA damage. And DNA damage is a leading cause of aging. Next, we're on to a whole host of berries. So the key thing with fruit, especially the berries, is that they contain high levels of flavonoids and polyphenols. And these are really, really potent chemicals inside fruits that tend to be a, a vibrant color. That's how you can tell they're normally going to contain these types of compounds. And there's so many studies now to show that these polyphenols and flavonoids are really, really beneficial in terms of having an antioxidant effect and an inflammatory effect in the body. And I always say that sometimes they can be just as powerful as drugs if not more powerful a lot of the things that we tested in drug development were derivatives of flavonoids and polyphenols and they were amazing in the studies that we were looking at food really is medicine it contains really important molecules that are just basically acting in the body your body doesn't know if they're a drug it doesn't know if they're a supplement it doesn't know if they're out of plant they have a powerful biological effect and that's really important so i think an important part about why we have all these ingredients and the concept behind this pudding that's been developed by brian johnson is that every single item or every single calorie is there for a reason it's there because it's got a beneficial compound in or a beneficial active ingredient or something that's going to contribute towards longevity. Next we've got pomegranate juice. So pomegranate juice is an interesting one when it comes to longevity because pomegranates contain something called urolithin A and urolithin A is a compound that actually helps to clear out any damaged mitochondria. So the mitochondria, the energy powerhouses of our cells, they can become dysfunctional as we get older. This leads to aging. Pomegranate and urolithin A is known to clean them out so you only have healthy functioning mitochondria in your cells. Cool. It's good for your mitochondria. And finally, we've got the mixing agent. We've already got nuts, but this is hazelnut. 
So in, I guess an important thing when you're looking at nut milks is to make sure that they don't have any sorts of seed oils in. Some of them could put quite a lot of sunflower oil in as like a, a way to help make them foam if you're making coffees and things out of them um, and just make sure there are no artificial stabilizers and ingredients in there. Mm. Um, you want to really be looking for, for the water and the, the nuts essentially. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turn into butter. Right. Oh, yes, it does. It smells Three. actually violent. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's the moment of truth. Time to blend. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to look nice when it comes out. Oh, you got to hold it. <laughs> I can feel my hopes of a collaboration with Brian Johnson <laughs> slipping through my fingers. <laughs> actually, you should take a picture of me. This is this is actually the best content. Okay. <laughs> me being cuddled by my video. Oh. Ooh, Ooh. It's good. What if you grind it at the top? That would be good. Nice. Oh. I, I would be able to. Oh. Well, I'd just eat anything. Right, okay. So, you ready? Okay. Right, let's, let's do it. this. Oh, it's thicker than Yeah, it's thick. Did you get pea protein on it? It's edible. Edible. <laughs> 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 really My collaboration is ruined. <laughs> with Brian Bryden. That was unbelievably delicious. The nicest pudding I've ever had. Now you know how to make nutty pudding. My challenge to you is have a go and post your results on social media. Tag me and Nicola.